Bodhi Rook, a former Imperial pilot. Bodhi had a strong piloting and technical skills that he put to use for the rebellion. Ever practical but highly anxious, Bodhi must gather his courage to bring the battle to the Empire. Hello and welcome to this Corner, and today we are reviewing from Star Wars, the Rogue One and the Black series, Bodhi Rook. Now this came out about the end of last year, um, but uh, they didn't produce enough and it, there was loads of other figures that came out at the same time. Um, so I, meant, I just missed it to be honest with you and I thought to be honest it's kind of gone and I might pick it a little bit later on but lo and behold the Rogue One kind of crew kind of started coming back out on the shelf and I think the hype kind of disappeared with it because these guys you can pick them up for anything and I picked this guy up for 12 95 off one of the websites and I can't remember when because actually this guy has been sat on the edge of my shelf for quite a while and I completely forgot that I actually bought him. It's only as I was tidying up, I uh, I noticed him. But anyway, looking pretty cool. And, and to be honest, this was my favourite character from the actual uh, film, to be honest with you. Uh, looking pretty cool in the kind of sort of teal colour that we always get with the Rogue One guys. And he's got a backpack and a blaster here. Again, with Bodhi Rook on the side here. On the back with his bio is number six and that picture once again. And bringing it right around to the front. I guess without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Right, so here he is in the blister pack. To be honest, there's not much else to go with this guy apart from we can see his feet now. So we just get him out for our first impressions. And then I'm expecting a little bit more than our old kind of Rogue One figures because they were like little bricks. So uh, this guy should be a little bit more up to date than the rest. But uh, that face sculpt looks great. The little goggles on there. Um, again, I can see a lot of lacking paint, but we go away, take some pictures, and we see you in a moment. We've been away, we've taken his photos, and what can I say about this guy straight from the outset? Well, I think Hasbro have done a great job here, but also they let themselves down by not applying too much paint to it. So they've re-sculpted a whole new figure, yet it's just, again, let down by the paint applications that they put onto the figure that makes it look really bland. Um, but the actual figure itself is pretty cool. The accessories, on the other hand, feel like I'm actually playing with a Ghostbuster toy, to be honest with you. Um, so, But the first of all, it comes with his first blaster, which is like the Rebel blaster here. Got all the sort of lines and the rivets and the holes and the tubing and the, the scope. Again, pretty cool detail on there. And as you can see, it fits into his trigger hand really nicely. He hasn't got no holster, so he hasn't got nowhere to put it, but we can just take it out of his hand for now. So his other accessory is this giant almost backpack on here um just it's just lacking paint chippings and stuff like that and it's made of a really sort of plasticky plastic if that makes sense like you would find with a sort of like a five poa um if i'm honest with you down here on this bit it's quite nice it's got an extra like material and canvas over the top of this kind of radio sort of metal part and then we've got these little bit up here but it's just this this is awful um, wrapped around in there is like a a reel which comes to this sort of like a piece of string and then obviously the, this sort of plug that he has and you can pull it uh, and it comes out quite far to be honest like it would just keep going and going which is here and I can't find for love or money a way to actually reel it back up um, you could use it like an old cassette by putting a like a, a pencil in there or something and then reeling it up um, which would be nice to have like a second accessory that could sort of hide as that. So what I do, I just use the nib of the gun uh, and just keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling until we're all the way back up and we can plug that back into the side here. It's not an actual plug onto the back, it's actually a backpack that they've actually sculpted some straps over the top. But again, we've got this kind of very plastic looking frame part and then we've got all these bits of just, just a little bit of paint on there, just a little silver tip on there with a really sort of brought that up, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, the actual figure itself is pretty cool and his articulation is great as well. So head-wise, he can turn left, 
you can turn right, you can look down this far, you can look back this far. We've got lower neck movement down here as well, as well as upper movement on the head. So he's got quite a lot of range there. On the arms, there's butterfly joints in there, which is quite nice. We've got full rotation all around and it comes up to this far. Rotation at the elbow and comes up to about 90. Well, probably be a little bit more than 90 actually. Rotation at the wrist and it's also on the hinge. We've got a waist swivel in there and also we've got his crunch it doesn't come down far because obviously he's got this massive um gilet over the back and he can't crunch back much either his leg wise though he can come up this way go forward back upper thigh rotation we have a single knee joint here with the rotation at the knee and a rocker and a pivot at the ankle which is slightly a little bit hindered by his sort of sculpt of the uh big baggy pants that he wears but not not too much but they wear this guy really full lines, I think it's actually the sculpt. The actual paintwork on the actual guy really looks right like him. Unfortunately, these little goggles, they're kind of like squidgy and everything like you would imagine that they are like, but they aren't movable, unfortunately. Um, I suppose you could peel them off um, and if you want to put them over there, you could do and then repaint the gray lines into different areas, um, if you so wish. But the actual face on there, it's pretty cool. I do think the head though is quite a bit too small um, compared to other Black Series figures. Going down to his actual sort of outfit, so we've got all these pockets and other bits and bobs all, all over his uh, over his top here, but no, there's no paint to differentiate all between the different kind of pockets and other bits in there, uh, apart from this only little bit that's sticking up and this little part here. And around on the back, again, we've got all these other parts, but none of these sort of like, uh, uh, clips and stuff are painted at all. On the actual figure itself, we've got the pen mark, got the Imperial logo, and we've got his sort of like uh, com pad down here on that part. And around on this side, we've got the insignia once again, but no other paintwork on there. But the actual sculpt of the actual uh, overalls and stuff on there looks pretty cool. Uh, you've got all the wrinkles and stuff in the right places, which is really nice. And then going down to the figure itself, down the legs, just more of the same, more wrinkles and stuff like that down to his little boots i actually do think that um if you actually took that off underneath it's kind of like you can see it all the way up it probably work as a sort of like a, a custom if he was going to do a boba fett coming out the sarlacc you know when he needed just his flight suit it's probably quite a good mold for that to be honest with you um, and then you could just change the arms but um yeah nonetheless he's actually a pretty good figure i'm quite glad to get him and for 12.95 uh especially for buying a black series figure at the moment it feels really refreshing and really nice and to get a decent figure to boot to actually finish off the collection so that's great so thank you so much for joining me on this one let me know in the comments down below have you picked this guy up are you pleasant to see supplies or are you just going to miss it now because the hype has gone let me know in the comments down below and uh, don't forget you can subscribe ding the bell follow me on instagram which is in the description down below until next time take care i'll see you soon bye